All right. So this is a Godan Godin radiator. It's the original one. I had to do a bunch of rehab to this thing. I got it in rough condition. So now it plays good and it's structurally sound. I'm going to put the correct Shetmans on so that'll be only different from a listing because I'm going to sell it. I have plenty of guitars and had it long enough. Cool thing about even these, I don't know how far back or if it's been a thing for a long time. So Godan uses what they call Ergo Cut. Now there's a few guitars that I'm putting out or making. Whether I sell them or not, I'm going to keep one minimally. I'm doing an Ergo Cut attempt. Because if you actually could see, and it's not going to be possible, the fretboard is not like a straight line across like most guitars. It's actually kind of a trapezoid of sorts. And now it's a radius trapezoid, so whatever. So it's it's really comfortable. The Godan Empire I had was actually one of the best playing guitars I've ever had. That one wasn't as lively as this guitar is, like any instrument it ranges. So what I'm going to try to do is a little bit of a demo showing some different gain stages. I left the circuit stock. I really, really contemplated master volume and a three-way switch. Um, it's going to be stupid easy if you were to do that. If this is going to be the first guitar you work on, yes, there's a lot of screws. And these are brand new strings, but if it's what you want, just do it. Or wear out the strings and on the string change. Just give yourself an extra 30 minutes to an hour. Depending on your skill set, you might be able to do it in less time. And just do it. It's going to be super easy. You might have to widen the pick guard, but it's plastic. So if you want and don't have a drill, but you have a drill bit, you can force it in there. There's tons of ways, but enough talking. It's the bridge. Here's both. Just the neck. It's a 24 fret guitar, so it has its own timber, timbre, whatever the word is. Back to the bridge. Now, I thought I had it matched. I'll bring the bridge pickup up even a little bit more before I ship it to get the strings balanced a little bit. But low gain, bridge. Hi again now. There's something in here these pickups are picking up. 
they are single coils. <laughs> Hum canceling. So let's do a fuzz. That's a middle. Here's a neck. Just the bridge. Which is quite a lot of reverb, but so be it. tune as I would expect a guitar with brand new strings. Oh, it was a B string. The one I didn't stretch as much. <laughs> it's the nature of it. So it's a good sounding guitar. I'll demonstrate a couple things. So the tone knob works perfectly. for these pickups. Now the neck pickup, some people would say is on the dark side. It's kind of like the tally neck in that sense. cool guitar when i say middle position it's both pickups stock tuners which why would you ever upgrade these they are so smooth good and did a great job with these the bridge is a replacement it fits perfectly in here uh 
yeah, it needed a replacement. But it's a cool guitar. All the frets work. <laughs> yeah, that 24th fret if you need it. So, it's a very cool guitar. I got it set up pretty dang good. The You could go down more, but I have it where it's comfortable. No one's going to be feeling like it's really high action. Some people might want it higher. I usually set it a little lower, but this is a good starting point because you could just adjust the truss rod down a little bit, make it a little bit flatter. And whether or not at that point you have to lower the saddles just a smidgen and follow the radius, and you'll have a phenomenally playing guitar. And it already plays really nice, so you might not want to adjust it. But it'll be on reverb. It's a great guitar, and I hope you love it. Whoever gets it, and if you have questions about this, go ahead and ask, and I'll help, because I know there's not a ton of recent videos on these generation of this radiator. Until next time.